The woman in the painting would have been known as a kitchen maid or maid of all work rather than a specialized milkmaid at the time. Milkmaids were women who milked cows. Kitchen maids worked in kitchens. For at least two centuries before the painting was created, milkmaids and kitchen maids had a reputation as being predisposed to love or sex, and this was frequently reflected in Dutch paintings. In Dutch literature and paintings of Vermeer's time, maids were often depicted as subjects of male desire, dangerous women threatening the honor and security of the home. Although some contemporaries during Vermeer's time, such as Peter de Hooch, had started to represent them in a more neutral way. Vermeer's painting is one of the rare examples of a maid treated in an empathetic and dignified way although amorous symbols in this work still exemplify the tradition. Other painters in this tradition, such as Garrett Doe, 1613-1675, depicted attractive maids with symbolic objects such as jugs and various forms of game and produce. In almost all the works of this tradition there is an erotic element, which is conveyed through gestures ranging from jamming chickens onto spits to gently offering or so the direction of view suggests an intimate glimpse of some vaguely uterine object according to Lika. In Doe 1646 painting, Girl Chopping Onions now in the British Royal Collection, a pewter tankard may refer to both male and female anatomy, and the picture contains other contemporary symbols of lust, such as onions said to have aphrodisical properties and a dangling bird. Milk also had lewd connotations, from the slang term melkin, defined as, to sexually attract or lure, a meaning that may have originated from watching farm girls working under cows, according to Leakey. Examples of works using milk this way include Lucas van Leiden's Engraving the Milkmaid 1510 and Jackie's De Gain II Engraving the Archer and the Milkmaid about 1610. Vermeer's painting is even more understated, although the use of symbols remains, one of the Delft tiles at the foot of the wall behind the maid, near the foot warmer, depicts Cupid which can imply arousal of a woman or simply that while she is working she is daydreaming about a man. Other amorous symbols in the painting include a wide-mouthed jug, often used as a symbol of the female anatomy. The foot warmer was often used by artists as a symbol for female sexual arousal because, when placed under a skirt, it heats the whole body below the waist, according to Leakey. The coals enclosed inside the foot warmer could symbolize, either the heat of lust in tavern or brothel scenes, or the hidden but true burning passion of a woman for her husband, according to Serena Kant, a British art historian and lecturer. Yet the whitewashed wall and presence of milk seem to indicate that the room was a cool kitchen, used for cooking with dairy products, such as milk and butter, so the foot warmer would have a pragmatic purpose there. Since other Dutch paintings of the period indicate that foot warmers were used when seated, its presence in the picture may symbolize the standing woman's hard-working nature, according to Kant. The painting is part of a social context of the sexual or romantic interactions of maids and men of higher social ranks that has now disappeared in Europe and which was never commonly recognized in America. Please before we continue don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you get notified on our next upload. Don't forget to comment your thoughts too. In the end, it is not the allusions to female sexuality that gives this painting its romance or emotional resonance, it is the depiction of honest, hard work, as something romantic in and of itself, Raquel Lanieri wrote in Forbes magazine. The milkmaid elevates the drudgery of housework and servitude to virtuous, even heroic, levels. If you enjoyed this video to the end, like comment, Share with your loved ones and subscribe so you don't miss out on our next upload.